What is up everybody, I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and I'm on the lookout for the best looking designs which are out there on the web and today we are going to be having a look at this countdown product timer you can see right here. I think it's the perfect section for the upcoming Black Friday which is going to be in a month and I'm going to show you how you can fully customize that, change the text, the actual date and also that little subscription section right here because it's all going to be in this one, it's all in one solution and that's how we just get right into it. The app I used for this is called Section Store. It's a component library with over 400 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And yeah, usually clients pay hundreds of dollars to get custom sections like this one. But with this app, you only have to pay a one-time fee of $9. So I do think at the end of the day, that is a pretty sweet deal. And you get all the customization options in the world. So that's also a really nice benefit about it. And after successfully getting the section, uh, you have to do one last thing before you can actually use it inside of your store. And that is to add it to the actual theme you're using. You can do that in the My Sections area of the app. Just simply find the section you're using, click on Add to Theme, and just add it to the one. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme, but it does work on every theme. Don't worry about that. And of course, it's fully optimized for mobile as well. Then simply hit on Customize In, go to the theme you just installed it to, and then your theme editor is going to open up. I have already have a little version here myself. So here I'm on a default product page and you can already see I've done some customizations to this one, but we'll do a few tweakings today so you can actually see how you can easily change the whole thing. So to add it in the first place, click on add section, just type in product countdown and you end up with a little default version. But I'll show you in this one today how you can easily do changes. So here you can decide where it's going to be positioned. In this case, maybe we're going to put it above the buy buttons. Just to show you how easy it actually is right now, the whole background of the full section is transparent, but if I would change it to red, for example, everything behind this would turn red. I'm going to save it up real quick to show you what I mean. We could add a border, we could also make the, the background gradient, but we don't want all that. We just want to have it transparent, but yeah, here you can add some margins and paddings as well, the border thickness around the whole block. And let's just save it up again. Always make sure you save it up so you don't run into any unnecessary errors and you always get to see the live version. And now probably the most important block of the whole thing is this one. This is where all the magic happens basically, where you can set all the paddings as well. Here you have the little heading right there. And here is where you set the actual countdown date. So for this example, I picked the Black Friday because I do think that section is just perfect for it. And I decided to just chug it in right here. Underneath here, you can also change what's it saying underneath. So instead of hours, maybe we do, I'm from Germany, so I'm gonna put Stunden for this one. But yeah, it's super easy to change that up. And yeah, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see a lot of colors you can also change. So if I want that to pop even more, I could put it in red, for example, or for the sake of Black Friday, we're gonna put it in black. I do think that looks pretty nice as well. And yeah, yeah, I could put the, heading in a different color as well, but we don't want to overcomplicate things. At the end of the day, you want to customize it to your brand's guidelines. Let's just save this up real quick. And the last part of the section is the form underneath. So here you can easily do some email marketing tricks. So for example, if you want to have them to get that 80% discount, just let them know, okay, you have to sign up and then you immediately get the discount code. And we have this form right here, which is automatically getting linked to your store's email. So whenever a customer is typing it in, you'll have their email for sure. And yeah, if you scroll down a bit more, you can see also the texts and all the customizations you can do to the whole thing, like changing the text color, the placeholder, or whatever you prefer. But if you don't wanna have this one, you can easily just remove it as well, and you would just remain with the countdown. And that is pretty much it, I think. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. I'm just gonna let you have a final look at it in the live version. Also, I want to show you how it looks on mobile. Also looks perfectly fine. We made sure that is optimized as well. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.